Now, our original series, Project Home. It's common practice to submit personal stories when trying to buy a home in a competitive real estate market. Yeah, they're known in the industry as love letters. But as, a, but as Susie Steinle reports, realtors are trying to phase them out, saying these letters are a liability. If these walls could talk, they'd tell you a full circle story. This is actually my childhood home. I grew up here and returned about 15 years ago, and this became my home again. Now with her children in college and a hot real estate market, Allie Nipsaro made the decision to sell her San Jose home, and it went fast. It's at five days. Selling your home can be an emotional decision, which is why Aline and her realtor decided to stick to the facts. She asked not to be shown any pictures or learn the stories about potential buyers. I think our realtor was just really wise and just encouraged us to stay focused on the merits of the offer themselves and the merits for us meant just the strength of the financial aspects of the offer. It's common practice in a competitive real estate market to include photos of your children or personal story when making an offer. But the California Association of Realtors now says this can lead to discrimination and needs to be phased out. So buyers feel compelled to write the offer and write a letter talking about the wife, the kids, the dog, but this can actually work against them. Michael Verdone is a real estate agent out of Redwood City. He's working to educate his clients about the legal risk these letters pose. As a realtor, I have concerns about fair housing and discrimination. There may be implicit bias by the seller against race, religion. Imagine a buyer writing something like, I can see my kids running down these stairs on Christmas morning and attaching a picture of their family. Well, that kind of detail helps the seller identify their race, religion, and familial status. Refusing to sell to someone for any of these identifiers, along with sex, nationality, or disability, violates the Fair Housing Act. It's hard enough to try and get a house in a very competitive marketplace like Santa Clara County. And to have some overt discrimination working against you is even that much more unconsciousable. Dave Walsh is the president of the California Association of Realtors. He says combating systemic racism and unconscious bias is CAR's top priority for the year. We have a, a long history of being part of that problem. Uh, as much as we have learned, we still have a lot to undo. But convincing buyers to drop the personal stories about their families and their homes can be a tough sell. I would say that it's, it's starting to change, but if I had 10 offers, seven of them at least would have a buyer cover letter explaining the buyers. So there's no penalty per se for writing or receiving one of these love letters, but if a buyer sends you a love letter and you don't choose them as the seller and they feel discriminated against, you could be sued under the Fair Housing Act. Susie Steimel, KPIX5.